got paperwork to do. You can't spend all day with Norman and all night working. You'll be exhausted. And Andrew's arranged cover for you. He's not expecting you in. Great. So I'm supposed to keep my mind off things. Could try coming home with me and getting some sleep. Oh, yourself. Well, do you really think you'd be able to work properly either? You should at least try to rest, love. You'll need all your strength. Come on, let's go home, eh? Kia Shorten Street. No, no, you're in luck. She's right here. Judy, phone for you. Who is it? Oh, she did give her name, but I didn't quite understand the accent. Something to do with her. your father? Hello, Cindy. <laughs> Johnny Depp. All right. <laughs> and tomorrow afternoon, I thought we might hit them all after work. Oh, sorry, didn't I tell you? Uh, tell me what? The annual geography field trip. It's tomorrow, it's overnight. Andrew signed the permission slip weeks ago, but if you think it's okay to miss it... Well, no, obviously you have to go. We can go shopping another time. I'd like that. Uh, now, Jake, are you staying for dinner? Oh, please. I'll stick some music on if you like. Am I a genius or what? Well, what about when she rings the school to find out what you need for the trip? Well, then she'll find out what I need, I guess. There's a trip going on, all right? I'm just not going on it. We're going to the dance party instead in Andrew's car. Solomon, I like your style. Yeah, yeah, babe, we're still here. Marky was just about to buy me another drink. We should be making a move, mate. OK. One vodka lime and soda coming right up. And a mojito for Nicola. Who's Nicola? OK, babe, I'll see you soon. Bye. Anna's just parking the car. She'll be right up. We're going to miss the start of the game if we're not careful. Oh, did I tell you she's bringing Nicola? <sighs> not interested. Yeah, well, you say that now, but you might just want to wait till you see her. Uh-huh. Man, she really has you wrapped around her little finger, doesn't she? Who? Oh. Who do you think? Little Red Robin. Oh, get off. So what's the attraction, anyway? Robin, well, she's all right. She's a bit of fun. She's low maintenance. Yeah, well, at least that's what she wants you to think. No, no, she knows the score, no strings. Dude, who are you kidding? I can see them from here, and I know who's pulling them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go get another couple of those, a vodka lime and soda, and um, a mojito for Nicola. Ladies, you're not seeing me doing this, eh? Right? You've done such a lovely job of it, Vinny. True, but one full stroke at work, and you're dead. <laughs> How's it going, Lee? You guys did all this? Yep. And we're even going to get some hot food into you, even if we've got to shovel it down. I don't know what to say. Hi, I just called round to find out how Norman is. He's got a brain tumour. We don't know whether it's cancer yet or not. Oh, no. That's terrible. That's why he was acting so strange and getting all those headaches. You think I don't know that? You've got to come here and rub it in. I didn't mean that at all. I wasn't blaming you. Why not? Everyone else is. You're upset. I'd better go. Yeah. You'd better. No one is blaming you, Lee. God, least of all Norman. Well, they should. I'm supposed to be a doctor. Norman had that thing growing inside of him and all I could do was be horrible. Fiji, I loved it and I met some really good people. Yeah, that's where he met his millionaire sugar daddy. He's joking. Am I? Whose house are you living in? A guy called Chris Warner, he's a mate. Yeah, a rich mate. Oh, bye Judy. See you tomorrow. Actually, you might not. I'm just popping into work, sort out a few things. I'm off to Palmerston North at lunchtime. Oh, you mad spontaneous thing, you. <laughs> yeah, well, my father and his wife moved down there a few months ago. Why? I'm not sure. He's not much of a communicator. And you're going down for a visit? Yeah, well, just heard he had a heart attack. Oh, Judy. No, it's not a bad one. But Cindy's been on the phone begging me. Poor thing's worried sick, so it's her I'm going down for, really. Well, you and your dad don't get along. No, I never have. But he visited me when I was in hospital, so I wouldn't be much of a daughter if I didn't return the favour, would I? <laughs> well, I certainly wouldn't be rushing off to look after my old man, that's for sure. But then that's the difference between you and me. You take care, hey? Yeah, see ya.
Well, Chris is off on his honeymoon at the moment, actually. I've got the whole place to myself. Well, well, well. This is a funny-looking boys' night out, I must say. Is the uh, game over already, is it? No, no, no. It's just getting interesting. <clears throat> I don't like being lied to, Mark. Nobody lied to anybody. Oh, please. You were out chatting up every available woman and I'm supposed to be waiting at home until you feel like calling me? Why should I put up with that? Don't then. There's a bloke over there looking pretty available. You could always try doing some chatting up of your own. Don't tempt me. I might. I'm not stopping you. <sighs> Lighten up, will you? Buy me a drink and I might forgive you. Might, mind. Buy your own drink. Let's get somewhere else. Fine by me. Mark. You don't like being lied to? I don't like being manipulated. Oh. Who's manipulating who, I wonder? Hawkey wears somewhere else. I'm not interested. Oh, you'll be all right to find your own way home then. 